Okay, now I'm really confused. Like, whoa, is he an alien or something? I do not know. Guess we'll, we'll play as Carla. Five men in the hospital. Four wrecked squad cars. A helicopter that just missed blowing up in our faces. Meanwhile, the killer takes a nice quiet ride on the subway. I hope there's a good explanation for all this. Dude, he's like ninja freaking. Nobody could have predicted the way things went down, Captain. We should have had him no problem, but the guy pulled some unpredictable stuff out there. This Kane is not the Sunday driver we thought he was. Just what are you trying to tell me here? That this guy is Superman? That's your excuse? That's pretty you much. seriously expect me to buy that crap? It looked like it. We underestimated Kane. There's no denying it. We knew he was dangerous, but not that he could knock out trained armed policemen and then escape hanging under a helicopter. I don't give a crap about your two-bit excuses. When the press finds out that Kane slipped through our fingers, they're gonna make me a laughing stock, and the mayor's gonna come looking for my head. Now, what is the plan, people? Are you on his trail? Yes. We'll give it time. Kane's photo will be in every squad car, train station, and airport. He puts one foot outside, and we'll be all over him. I want every available man on Kane's ass right now. I want him locked up tight in 48 hours or less. You understand me? I want this nut job behind bars before he decides to cut somebody else. Now get out of here. Oh man, he's pissed. Carla, I've been looking for you. We found some of Kane's prints in an apartment where we found the dead body of an old lady. And that's not all. There was a double murder last night in a lavomatic. One of the two victims was killed by knife blows to the heart. Garrett's already there. He's waiting for you. Um, I'll continue with her again. Minus five degrees Fahrenheit. Every day it got a little colder. Man, that's the really cold. The city seemed to be numbed by the snow and ice. But nobody was worried about it. Go take a look inside, Tyler. I'm gonna talk to Garrett and see if he found anything. Cool with me. I can't even think out here in this damn cold. Is this Garrett? Ah, I was waiting for you, Carla. So, what happened here? The guy who runs the Lavomatic found the bodies around 5 o'clock this morning when he came to open up. When he tried to get in, it seemed like the door was blocked from the inside. He saw the two bodies through a window and called the cops. Do you think there's a link to Kane? The woman died from three knife wounds to the heart area. It happened in a public place and with no apparent motive. Sound like Kane to you? Yeah. Were there any witnesses? No eyewitnesses. We checked around the neighborhood, but didn't turn up anything. This guy got lucky. He commits a double murder in front of a window, and nobody sees a thing. Yeah, so... Thanks, Garrett. So weird. Oh, dude, there's a coin! Or, uh, what are we gonna call it? Holy shit! Three or four stabs in the area of the heart. Exactly like the victim in the restaurant. I wouldn't be surprised if the autopsy finds that the arteries are severed. But who is the killer? We'll play as Tyler. Oh, what's that? What's that? I thought there was something he could. I thought I seen a prompt. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. He's got like a screwdriver in his head. In his eye. Or a knife. Damn. That's gotta hurt. Yo, Carl, if you want to keep your breakfast down, I suggest you avoid our friend Jose. He's in a really bad way. 
You know what though? His arms are cut up just like Kane. Did you notice this blood over here? Yeah, I saw that. What do you think it means? That the murderer was bleeding before he stabbed his victim. Just like in the toilets of the restaurant. A knife stuck in his eye. Death would have been instantaneous. Bizarre. Uh, just look more. His wrists are all cut up. Looks like some kind of symbol carved on them. A snake. A snake with two heads. Definitely some magic. Some sort of. Because he's. Bizarre. Like what Kane did Why was. Is there blood here? Is this where he cut up his own forearms? Cain left some blood in the toilets, too. Did Cain cut his arms up, too? Now she's putting it together. The knife has the same handle as these other tools. It must have come from this toolbox. I'm gonna look around a little bit more, and we'll leave. Unless I've seen everything. I don't know. Uh, if we go back outside. I want to check on a thing or two before I leave. Oh. Oh, wait, so I can't leave? I want to check on a thing or two before I leave. Okay. I don't think there's really anything else to check. Now it's still Tyler time to go. Let's go. I've seen enough. What are we supposed to think about this murder? The guy committed suicide after killing the woman? It seems absurd, but it's the only explanation. I don't think Cain had anything to do with what happened at the laundrette. But all the same, there's got to be a link between the two murders. It's just like tripping balls here. I mean, after all this stuff, I'd probably go to church as well. This reminds me of the church scene in Agatha. Within. Agatha, is that you? I, I thought you were dead. In a way. But I promise to tell you what I know. And I always keep my word. Listen carefully, Lucas. We have very little time. You are not insane. Neither are you a murderer. You are simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. Then who made me commit that murder? Who came and sat down at my table in the restaurant? No one knows his real name. They call him the Oracle. He serves the most powerful of the powerful. They live in shadow, but they have controlled this world since the dawn of time.
Why do I have these visions? They are real, aren't they? In a way, yes. They are using the visions to try and eliminate you. You've seen too much. So you've become an inconvenience. They're coming. Save yourself, Lucas. They want your life. Kuwet Nitna. In the ancient Mayan civilization. You'll find some of the answers you seek there. Agatha? Agatha! Oh, this is some crazy shit. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Here we go. More quick time events. I bet these are so insane if you play on hard. Like, I find they're kind of annoying. So I wouldn't want to play on hard anyway. And I actually seen on Humble Bundle, there's... Uh, I think it's for like 15 bucks or something, you can get most of the Quantum Dream games. And you got Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain, Detroit Become Human. I was thinking of getting them, but I already have them on PS4, so I might just do a walkthrough on them. Maybe one day, I don't know. Oh shit. I've played a lot of those. I mean, quite a bit. Like, I never played this game, so I thought do a walkthrough on it. Uh, maybe if I get a PS5, we'll play the rest of them. It's hard to get a PS5. I like, got a stock everywhere. Like, I've been trying to get a PS5 for a year and a half now, and I just can't. I know uh, one of my buddies, he got a PS5. He was lucky to get his hands Lucas. on one. Lucas, wake up. What are you doing here? What happened? The police found me. I managed to get away. I walked all night. I didn't have anywhere else to go, so I came here. My god. This time you really have to go to the police, Lucas. There is no other solution. I'm not turning myself in until I understand what happened. I saw Agatha again. Here, just a while ago. She, she's dead, but she had some things to tell me. I, I think she wants to help me. Agatha is dead? Are you telling me that you... No, I didn't kill Agatha, Marcus. She was dead by the time I got there. But you're saying that you talked to a dead person? <laughs> None of this makes any sense. Someone tried to kill me through my visions. They can attack me anywhere. I think they want to prevent Agatha from talking to me. This is all a bit much, Lucas. What if this whole thing is all in your head? Isn't it at least possible that you're losing your grip on reality? I'm not crazy, Marcus. I used to think maybe I was, but now I'm sure that something's going on here. So what are you going to do? You can't stay here. The police will certainly come to question me, and probably place me under surveillance. I have to find some place to hide. I'm a fugitive. My description will go out everywhere. At least now I know that there is an explanation. I need to find the people who are behind all of this. Be careful, Lucas. They'll kill you if they get the chance. Nothing could be worse than what I see in my visions. Oh, trust me, it's pretty bad. Agatha talked about the Mayans. It's vague, but it's all I've got to go on. I've got to find a place to hide while I figure this out. There's only one person who can help me. 